we will discuss today about the vascular nervous content of the orbit. We have indicated a diagram of the orbit where we can observe the optic foramen, the superior orbital fissure and the inferior orbital fissure. Also, we will emphasize the supraorbital foramen, the infraorbital groove which leads into the infraorbital foramen and the zygomatic orbital foramina. We are now in a position to indicate the annulus tendinosus of Zin, which is a ring of fibrous tissue surrounding the optic foramen and most of the medial part of the superior orbital fissure. The annulus of Zin is the common origin of the four extraocular muscles superior rectus, inferior rectus, medial rectus, and lateral rectus. The origins of the levator palpebris superioris and the superior oblique muscles are located just outside the ring in its superomedial part. Through the optic foramen passes the optic nerve and the ophthalmic artery. Through the superior orbital fissure, lateral to the annulus tendinosus of Zin, are passing from lateral to medial, the lacrimal nerve, the frontal nerve, and the trochlear nerve. The lacrimal nerve is a sensory nerve, being the smallest branch of the ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve. It provides sensory innervation for the lacrimal gland, conjunctiva, and the lateral upper eyelids. The frontal nerve is the largest branch of the ophthalmic nerve. It runs forward between the levator palpebris superioris and the periosteum. It divides into two branches, the supraorbital and the supratrochlear nerves. The supraorbital nerve passes through the supraorbital foramen and gives off palpebral filaments to the upper eyelid. Additionally, it supplies the conjunctiva of the eye, the frontal sinus and the skin of the forehead, extending back to the middle of the scalp. The supratrochlear nerve is smaller than the nearby supraorbital nerve. It passes above the pulley of the superior oblique muscle and then exits the orbit through a small notch located between the pulley of the superior oblique and the supraorbital foramen. It supplies the skin of the lower part of the forehead close to the midline, conjunctiva and the skin of the upper eyelid. The trochlear nerve, which is the fourth cranial nerve, provides motor innervation for the superior oblique muscle. In the vicinity of those three nerves, also passing through the superior orbital fissure, we have the superior ophthalmic vein and the recurrent meningeal branch of the ophthalmic artery. Through the medial part of the superior orbital fissure, but outside the annulus tendinosus of Zin, is passing a branch of the inferior ophthalmic vein. Inside of the annulus tendinosus, through the superior orbital fissure, are passing the upper and lower divisions of the oculomotor nerve. Between those divisions, we have the third branch of the ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve. This branch is called the nasociliary nerve. Lateral to these three nerves, we have the abducens nerve. Now, let's indicate the structures passing through the infraorbital fissure. The infraorbital nerve arises as a continuation of the maxillary nerve. Firstly, is located in the infraorbital groove and then leaves the orbit through the infraorbital foramen. It is a sensory nerve and ends with nasal, palpebral and labial branches. This nerve is accompanied along its course by the infraorbital artery and the infraorbital vein. The zygomatic nerve is also a branch of the maxillary nerve which arise in the pterygopalatine fossa. It enters the orbit by the inferior orbital fissure and is directed 
towards the zygomatic orbital foramina. Before entering the zygomatic orbital foramina, it gives off a communicating branch with the lacrimal nerve. Via this communication, it carries postganglionic parasympathetic fibers to the lacrimal nerve, which in turn will supply the lacrimal gland. The zygomatic nerve, after enters through the zygomatic orbital foramina, bifurcates within the zygomatic bone. One bifurcation is called the zygomaticofascial nerve, which will appear through the zygomaticofascial foramen. The other bifurcation is called the zygomaticotemporal nerve, which will appear through the zygomaticotemporal foramen. Finally, we will indicate the presence of a second branch from the inferior ophthalmic vein passing through the medial part of the inferior orbital fissure. 